this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. Good morning, Esther. <laughs> today in this video, I'm going to be joined by Esther and Lee Bear, just the uh, the three of us today. Uh, it's nice just to uh, just to, to calm down for a little bit and get back to business. Things um have been a little bit crazy around these parts recently, and if you've seen the uh, the last episode, you'll know what I'm talking about. And if you haven't, I won't spoil anything here. But yeah, certainly lots happened in the last episode, so it's nice just to relax a little bit, get back to business, and go and get some some building done. But before we get some building done, we need to get some eating done. And seen as it's breakfast, there's only one thing to eat for breakfast, and that is a cake. And I don't want to steal uh, Esther's dance mat, <laughs> so I'm not going to eat that cake. I'm instead going to eat this one. And no, don't start dancing on this cake. This cake's mine, Esther. That's your one. You can dance on that one as much as you want. You're not allowed to dance on this one. Anyway, it won't, it won't be here in a second anyway. Nom 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 nom. Ah, absolutely delicious. I love how Esther always dances on that cake. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's go and begin the the uh, the day then, Lee. So the way we always begin our days uh, is by heading to the uh, the love garden and uh, adding one lucky person to it. So if you don't know, uh, my love garden is basically a place where I shout out one person and uh, say thank you to them for one reason or just show off something awesome that they've done. And uh, that is exactly what I'm doing today. Today, to my love garden, I am adding Sandy. And that's because uh, she sent me these pictures of her dressed as me. Uh, but it's not just any old normal costume. It was a costume that made it look like she is riding a pig and holding a cake. And doesn't that just look like the coolest thing you've ever seen? I thought it was so incredible. I had to share it with you all. So I wanted to say thank you very much for sending me the uh, the pictures, Sandy. And welcome to my love garden. Right, that's the, uh, the first order of business done. Now for the second order of business, which is of course going to my doghouse and uh, picking which dog to take with me. And oh, actually, uh, while we're here, there's something else I want to do. And uh, that is just to go to these furnaces and grab some smooth stuff. And the reason for that is that uh, we are going to be using a uh, smooth stone uh, in what we're building today. And don't worry, I will uh, let you all know uh, what it is we're building today uh, very soon. Uh, but yeah, but first I just want to go and get all of the, the materials I need for it. Uh, so yeah, I might as well tell you now, uh, we are building a laundrette, uh, which is basically a place where you can go and uh, get all of your clothes clean. So it's going to be a whole load of washing machines and things, uh, but I've come up with a, a pretty cool design for it. Uh, so hopefully it'll be a jolly good fun. But first, I'm going to decide which dog to take with me and I'm going to take with me uh, how about you Luna would you like to join me if you would like to join me please sit there and have pointy ears Yes, she's sitting there and she has pointy ears, so that means Luna does want her to join me. So <laughs> come on, you can come and uh, follow me, and I'm going to show you all where it is uh, we're going to, to be building. It's basically uh, right over, uh, you know the area that we cleared out uh, when we were building the um, the waste place? Uh, you know we kind of uh, flattened out a whole area and got it ready to, to build some new things. Uh, yeah, this uh, laundrette is going to be the first thing we're going to be building, and I've decided to call it the clean machine, or clean machine, something along those lines. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on the name, it's growing on me. Uh, I had a little bit of a, a brainstorm coming up with different names, and it was the best one I had, uh, but I still wasn't 100% sure, but I think I think it, I'm definitely, it's definitely uh, growing on me. Uh, so yeah, uh, let me know what you think, uh, if you come up with any uh, better ideas for names. And uh, yeah, this is exactly where we're going to be building in. It's quite a it's quite a weird shape, as you're going to see soon. So first, I need to count along 25 blocks. So as always, I'm going to try and do it in one breath. <gasps> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. I am getting rather good at that. I think this is, I think this is uh, increasing my lung capacity whenever I'm building and counting along in big rows. <laughs> but I think that's all the, the counting I need to do now because we're basically going to make a big triangle and then we're just going to do another little triangle coming off on the other side. So I guess it's going to look a little bit like an arrow sort of. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be quite a, a unique shape. I always try uh, to come up with a, an original design every time I try and build something new. I think that's kind of the, the fun thing. It's very easy just to get into the habit of as soon as you start building something, just building a big box, you know, normally out of, I don't know, like, um, wooden planks or something. So I'm always trying uh, as hard as I can uh, to come up with a new design. So that's the, the main shape. Uh, but over here somewhere, uh, we're going to have the, the entrance. So if I kind of do uh, little triangle bits coming out in this direction as well, and uh, we can try and make it link up here. And I guess we'll have the, the front door about here somewhere. So if you excuse me one second, Luna, uh, you're kind of stuck in the door. Actually, let's do it like going down uh, here so it's not too wide. Uh, so this is going to kind of be the, the entrance. And then on the inside, we're going to be building some washing 
washing machines. And the washing machines aren't just going to be there to look like washing machines. They are going to be 100% functioning uh, washing machines. And Luna, are you hungry? I can see you tilting your head at me. Do you want a pork chop? There you go, Luna. You can have a pork chop. <laughs> right, so this uh, this wall here needs to, to be have uh, got rid of now because uh, this is going to kind of be the uh, the inside of the um, uh, the the laundrette. Uh, but what we need to do now is uh, start building up some of these these outside walls. So you can see I've gone for this uh, sky blue color and uh, I just thought that would, I know, it just seems like a clean color, you know? I think like a color like purple can look nice, but it doesn't seem like a fresh, bright, clean color. If I was going to go somewhere to clean, uh, clean my clothes, I think I'll trust uh, a place uh, of this color here. And uh, we're going to go up two blocks, uh, but then uh, we're going to go and have some um, uh, some of the uh, the stone half slabs, the uh, the smooth stone half slabs. So that's why I was getting all of that smooth stone as well. So let's go and uh, carry on building around here first. Uh, we're going to have a, a row of that, and then we're going to have another two rows of this uh, sky blue, and uh, then a rather funky roof, which I'm going to show you in just one second. So first, uh, let me go and uh, make uh, my crafting table and place it down here, and I'm going to go and make all of this uh, smooth stone uh, into the, the half slabs like this. And I always like these half slabs. I think that I don't use them uh, enough. They always look quite cool. So uh, we're going to go and do, uh, we're going to double these up. Uh, so they're going to be half slabs, but uh, just to make sure there's not a weird gap, we're going to be doing two of them. And then this is going to be around the uh, the entire outside. And this pattern is going to kind of be on the, the inside as well. The walls are going to be uh, the same color and have this stripe as well. And then on the top, we're actually going to have a cyan wall, but it's all uh, going to be kind of sloped in uh, just to make it look a bit more like a triangle. And I never meant uh, to make it look like a big triangle or an arrow or anything, but it kind of ended up looking like that. And I, uh, I kind of, the way I come up with most of my designs, isn't by really just sitting there thinking of them. I normally come up with a bit of a basic idea and do a little drawing of it. And then I start building and I will have no idea what I'm doing when I'm building. I'll just start placing blocks and then I'll end up with something which I normally don't like. <laughs> and then I'll go completely over it again and keep adding things and changing things until I end up uh, with something I like. Whereas some people uh, will come up with an idea and completely work out what they want to do and uh, then just do it. Uh, I kind of just like to start building and uh, then just change my mind uh, as I go uh, until I end up with something. I'm happy with and that's how I came up with this rather peculiar shaped building. <laughs> yeah, it's not your uh, traditional laundrette, is it? Anyway, this is where things get exciting because uh, we're not going to go uh, carry on building up. We're going to kind of go in a little bit and uh, then carry on building. So actually, let's only do one row of these half slabs. So it's going to kind of be like a, a little staircase. And so then we need to go uh, the entire way on the inside here and uh, fill this here with these half slabs. And then next to that, uh, we're going to have this uh, cyan wall as well. So all of the, the middle uh, is going to be cyan. Actually, I think the easiest way to build this, so I don't get too confused, is just to build the entire uh, bit filled in with cyan. And then we can go around the outside and just add the, uh, the row of half slabs. So it's not going to be completely filled in it's going to be so you see one row of the uh, the sky blue uh, the light blue sorry I guess I should say and uh, then there's going to be one row uh, of the uh, the half slabs just one half slab and then we're going to have the uh, the cyan wall uh, in the middle like this so it's going to be a little bit like a, a staircase and once again I think the uh, the cyan just goes well with the uh, uh, the half slabs and the uh, the light blue wall and uh, once again it's quite a, a nice bright baby blue color that I think uh, yeah you would associate with uh, clean clothes and then there's going to be three washing machines uh, on the the inside and uh, there's uh, quite a cool uh, idea I came up with uh, for how I can make it look like the uh, the washing machines are, are working. And uh, we're then also uh, going to have some uh, vending machines that are going to be dispensing uh, all types of different soaps and detergents and things as well. So uh, that way you can go and throw them in uh, with your clothes and uh, hopefully uh, come out of them nice and uh, nice and clean. Because I find that a lot of the uh, the clothes in my lovely world are starting to smell a little bit. Uh, mainly for me, it's just my uh, stampy style boots. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I wear these uh, a lot and I don't really ever take them off or ever clean them. So uh, I think just to, uh, just for the, uh, the favour of all of the other residents in my lovely world. I think it's about time I started cleaning my socks, basically. And uh, no offense, Lee Bear, but you do wear those leggings an awful lot. And I don't think I've ever seen you cleaning them. I know you do fall in the water a lot, which washes them out a little bit. But I think it's time to finally begin growing up and to start cleaning our, our own clothes. <laughs> right, have I run out of cyan wool? I have just about uh, run out of cyan wool, but I think most of it uh, seems to be filled in here. So uh, I need to just go around now and uh, start adding in the uh, the half slabs around the, the outside. I should definitely uh, have uh, enough of these. Uh, so I basically need to kind of go uh, one in around here. Actually, Lee Bear, do you have any more uh, cyan wool that you can throw at me just so I can go and uh, fill in these last bits? I probably don't need too much. Probably about, I don't know, a stack or so will be uh, more than enough. Here we go. Here's some some more cyan wool here. Uh, Lee Bear always has uh, plenty of spares on him. Uh, so yeah, if I go and start filling in uh, all of this around here, 
and then I can go and start doing the the half slabs. So you can kind of see a little bit what the the pattern is. So it goes the uh, light blue, uh, and then the the half slab, and then the uh, the cyan on the top. I think this uh, kind of goes well together. And the uh, yeah, the uh, the same pattern is going to be pretty much uh, on the uh, the inside as well. So the floor is going to be grey, uh, but instead of the the half slabs, we're actually going to be using uh, grey wool, a mixture of light and uh, dark grey wool. Uh, but it's still going to be the same sort of colours with the uh, the two different shades of blue, and uh, then the uh, the grey wool. I think it is always important uh, when building, even if you don't exactly know what the shape's going to be and what all of the, the furniture is going to be or whatever you're building on the inside, it's kind of nice to go in with a, a little bit of a, an idea of what the uh, the colours are going to be. Maybe uh, pick a few colours uh, that you think go well together, like, I don't know, maybe orange and white, for example, <laughs> and then try and use those colours, uh, but sort of change the uh, the design uh, as much as you, as you want as you go. So uh, let's go and uh, fill this in here and uh, in here like this as well. And uh, let's go and uh, throw down some torches as well, because it is getting... Uh, quite dark. So I'm going to put one torch uh, on the back there. I'm going to put one down uh, on the front down here. And Liebe, if you just carry on uh, doing those rest of the uh, the half slabs, uh, we should have a, a pretty cool design. It's kind of hard to see it because we're so close to it. We kind of need to be a little bit higher. Let me just go and uh, pile up a little bit here and uh, let me see whether we have done it symmetrical or not. I know it's a little bit of a an awkward thing to, to build. And is it wonky? Is it wonky? And I think that it looks kind of okay, actually. I think we just need to maybe fill in a, a little bit more uh, cyan wool there. Uh, rather than having those half slabs. But apart from that, I think this is uh, looking pretty good. So as I said, I always try and come up with a, a new and unique design uh, for everything that I build, and I think I have certainly done that here. So let's go and uh, change this here uh, for the cyan wall, and let's go and uh, do the uh, the same on the other side here, uh, just so it pokes out a bit. I think this here just needs to be the, the half slab, and then I do believe this is going to be the uh, the roof 100% uh, uh, completed. Uh, so what we should do now is uh, try and find somewhere to, to go to bed. We could actually uh, go into the uh, the treetop hotel. No, not the treetop hotel. <laughs> That's the uh, the wrong series there. We can go into our hotel of dreams is what I is what I meant to say and uh, have a little quick nap there. Seeing as we are so close, uh, seems a, it seems a little bit of a waste. And you know what? I am not going to sleep in my penthouse this, uh, penthouse this time. Every single time I go here, I always go to sleep in the penthouse, and I feel like a, a little bit of a, a, a little bit of a, a change. I'm going to go and uh, sleep somewhere, uh, somewhere else. So tell you what, Lee, uh, we can take turns. Uh, go, no, no, come down, Lee. Come, on, you've got to get your room key first. You've got to get your room key. We're going to do this properly. We'll take turns going behind the counter uh, to give the other person their room key. So I'm going to go here first, and uh, you can go and uh, tell me uh, which room you would uh, uh, you would like to to go in, Lee. So Lee. Uh, which, uh, which colour would you like to go to? If you just uh, point at one of the uh, the different colours, I'm going to go and get you uh, the uh, the right room key. So you want to go to the penthouse. You want to go to the penthouse, Lieber. Okay. <laughs> I guess this is your chance. This is one of the, the few times I won't be in there. So there you go, Lieber. There's your room key. And now we need to, to switch around. So you're now working in the, the hotel. And uh, I need to go and pick uh, which one I want to go in. As you can see, there's a little bit of a, a, a staff shortage at the moment. I'm going to go in the... Uh, let's go to the, the purple room room. I can't remember. Is that the disco room? I think that might be the disco domain, the purple room, but I'm not 100% sure. So this is going to be a little bit of a, a lucky day. There we go. I think it is the uh, the disco domain. So come on, Lee Bear. Uh, let's go to, to bed then. So let's try and see which floor I'm on. I am on the uh, the uh, the second floor. Uh, so let me go and uh, swim my uh, my way up the, the elevator. So there's floor number one. Here is floor number two. And here we go. It is, it's the uh, the disco domain. I accidentally uh, put my key in the wrong place. There we go. I can go inside. I can start the disco by pressing this button here and annoying everyone in the area. I can also go and put some music on as well. Let's go and uh, put on a, a little bit of uh, music as well. See, because this is the, the disco domain and the noisiest room in the world. <laughs> and now I can uh, go to bed. Good night, Lee. Good night. I hope you're having fun. Please don't make a mess on my bed or anything, because I will be going up uh, back there again in the, the future. And let's try and turn this music off, shall we? If I just break this, is this going to stop it going? Yep, there we go. I've turned the uh, the annoying music off. And let's go and uh, take the key as well, so no one's going to be uh, breaking back into the room. There we go. That was a like, nice little fun change, going and uh, spending the uh, the night in the, the disco domain. And let's go and head back to the uh, the laundrette and see what it looks like in the uh, in the day. Now it's all lit up. And then... And we can go and start uh, doing a little bit of work on the uh, on the inside of it. I like it. I do like this design. I think it does uh, look better from the uh, the sky when you're high up because uh, you can see the uh, the proper shape of it. But uh, yeah, already I think this looks pretty cool. Uh, so now what we need to do is start doing the the inside. So if we just go now and uh, break away all of the the floor, sadly there doesn't seem to be a big hole under the floor, which means we can't play uh, any spontaneous spleef. But it doesn't matter. Uh, there's not too much. We might actually end up. Yep, <laughs> I thought that might happen. Uh, end up. 
digging uh, into the uh, the underneath of an old building because all of the um yeah all of the uh, the ground around here uh, is over the top uh, of old buildings every time we're destroying things uh, we might kind of uh, go and find a, a treat and are you okay luna i seem to to hear luna getting hurt let's go and bring uh, luna outside for a little bit shall we because uh, i don't know how safe it is down there yeah there seems to be uh, fire and all sorts down there so let me go and uh, let me just try and squeeze past you here lee and yeah let's go and uh, go outside for a second uh, until we've done the the floor and uh, then i can bring luna back inside so there we go luna it's okay you can stay out here for now i don't know you can go and um you can watch the the sun or the clouds going past i know it's not the the most exciting thing in the world but at least you're self, uh, safe and that's what matters <laughs> right then uh, let's go and uh, try and do the uh, the floor inside here then so it's going to be a mixture of um dark and light gray wall and it's going to be a bit of um a bit of a weird pattern to be honest because it's going to be kind of switching uh, between light and uh, dark grey wool kind of in like a, a checkered pattern around the outside uh, but in the very middle of the room uh, there's going to be a um, a bench and uh, the bench is going to have the, the same pattern around the, the outside if that makes sense. Uh, it will make sense in a minute so it's basically going to be a checkered pattern around the outside to where the washing machines and that are going to be uh, but in the, the very middle uh, it's basically just going to be um, uh, the the same colours because uh, there's going to be a, a wooden bench in the middle uh, which is basically where people are going to sit uh, while they're waiting for all of their their laundry to be finished so let's go and build the floor out to here and then this is going to be where the bench is this is going to kind of be uh, the same pattern along here and then I can go back around here and of course uh, the entire room isn't going to be quite as open as this because uh, once we start building in the the washing machines and then adding in the the redstone behind them and things yeah it's basically going to start getting uh, a lot more cramped in here so uh, yeah we don't need to do the the entire room i think if we just do a a couple blocks uh, around the the outside here uh, it should give us a, a yeah it should give us a um a good idea of what the the actual room is going to be like and i actually i need to go downstairs and uh, gather up some of these uh, materials i don't want to uh, to leave anything going to to waste down there and there seems to be uh, lots of different types of walls and uh, wall and uh, uh, wooden stuff down there so i'm gonna have to go and gather that up at some point uh, yeah so i think if we just go and uh, do a uh, another row around the outside uh, that will probably uh, be just about the uh, the right size uh, for what this room's gonna be so let's carry on just the uh, the checkered pattern and it's really easy to do a checkered pattern actually all we need to do is just alternate in stripes uh, between the uh, the two different colors uh, but it actually makes uh, a pretty cool uh, design there now I come to uh, come to look at it so the way it's gonna work is there's gonna be a washing machine here a washing machine there and then a washing machine uh, down at the the very back down there and so I'm not gonna start doing the washing machines now because uh, they might take a little while but what I can do uh, is probably add the uh, the bench uh, which is going to be in the the middle of the the room so let's go and uh, make myself some stairs I'm gonna need and I'm also gonna need to make some wooden plank half slabs and Luna I'm gonna let you come back in but make sure you stay safe okay I kind of want to get Luna inside but just sitting down so then that way she's not gonna be running around and hurting herself so Luna are you gonna are you gonna come in do you want to come inside the laundry there we go you can go and sit at the the door and watch us in safety <laughs> and I'm gonna show you now uh, how to do a, a, a nice single uh, wooden bench so the first thing I need to do is actually build above here uh, a little bit and uh, you'll see why in a second and then if I go and actually dig myself down into this very convenient hole oh that's a, a bigger hole than I thought it was actually <laughs> I can go and build myself here a bit and then I need to uh, go and place these steps on here so if I do there and there as well and uh, Lee Bear, while you're up there, uh, can you go and build some blocks on the on the other side? So uh, the opposite place to where I was uh, here. Yeah, if you build some blocks above me here, Lee Bear, uh, then I can go and place the uh, the stairs uh, on them, and then that way they're going to be facing the right way. Actually, yep, that should be doing it. There we go. And so this has basically made the the steps the right way. Uh, I need to go and go up this little staircase and <laughs> dig my uh, dig my way up. I'm going to have to fix that again. And then if we go and uh, replace the the wall that I broke uh, by doing those holes like that and like this on the other side then if i grab my half slabs i can just do one row of half slabs along the uh, the top like this and there we go i've made myself a, a nice wooden bench so this is where uh, people can sit uh, while they're waiting for their clothes to be clean so this should now be uh, the entire outside complete so i do very quickly I want to have a look at it from high up somewhere. So where's Hub? Let's see if we can get on top of the, the post office. Do I have some ender pearls? I do. Here we go. Let me see if I can ender pearl on the top of here. And uh, then I can see uh, what it looks like from above. And uh, just make sure everything is uh, okay and in order. And there we go. I think Lee Bear got up. And yay, so did I. <laughs> it's very rare we both do it well. And look at that. 
Isn't that a, quite a, a cool design? If I was walking down the road, even if I had clean clothes, I would want to go in a building that looked that cool. <laughs> yeah, so in the next episode, we're going to be building the, the washing machines, and uh, I'm going to show you how they work, and of course the dispensers and uh, everything else uh, that's going to be on the, the inside. Uh, but sadly, uh, that's the end of this episode now. So for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!